Thanks for watching the video. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. What's that supposed to mean? That's pretty suspicious. And what about those massive glasses? You think it's code for something? Wait, that's it. How many times did he say K? Once. And what kind of vision does Brian wish he had? Uh, 2020. Precisely. Put them together and you get 1K by 2020. Hey everybody, Brian here. I am purposefully not showing you my stats because I'm talking to you at the end of day 22 and I'm just here to introduce you to the video. Thanks for clicking on it. I hope you guys enjoy the clips that I took from day 22. There's some levels to be gotten. There's some fun to be had. I'm just going to be over here AFK fishing while I edit the video that you guys are watching right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you love it. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. On with the video. I'm just continuing on with a little bit of Slayer doing one of my favorite tasks right now, like neck reels. I don't know what gives better money than them. <laughs> That's been my experience so far anyway. Anyway, I was editing video and I got interrupted because we are one hit away from 99 magic and we're not gonna do anything uh, in celebration or anything. Look, hey, we got it. Maybe celebration was the wrong word because I kind of celebrated there. Uh, we're not gonna do anything with special ceremony or something. But look, hey, we've got another 99. So how many do we have now? That was our seventh level 99 skill. Cool, 96 hit points right here, right now. Did I grow a combat level? Oh, I think I did actually. Okay, we're level 109 combat. So if you see me around here on the island, I'll be... It'll say, we skill now, level 109. Today, we've done a couple of Slayer tasks. I think I went like Black Demons, Nex, Black Demons, and now I'm at Nex again. I appreciate those tasks. Black Demons are okay. Nex are great. Like, Nex are the reason that I'm gonna get 99 construction, I think. I think this is a great source of money so far. I've probably gained 500k cash today so far. I'm looking at my magic experience, and it's just, it just, it, keeps going up and up and I feel like going for 50 mil magic experience is going to be a good investment for me. That's just kind of the thought that I've had so far. Catch you in the next highlight. This task is so good. I love it. Look, four brimstone keys so far. I guess that one's just luck, but in general, the reason that it's so good, look at this cash deck. Oh man, I still have more to go to. Looking forward to it. Love it. Hey, Konar, you wouldn't be planning on giving me an Abyssal Demon task sometime soon, would you? Deep breath, everybody. This is where we finally get an Abyssal Demon task. I feel like I've done so many. And... Ankus. All right, I'm <laughs> I'm done with this. I'm going to Winter Todd. Somebody just told me that my videos were fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Winter Todd. Here we are again. Thought I was out of this prison when I hit 99. Nope, not the case at all. So I'm looking at my experience here. We're at 24 million, uh, real close to 25 million for that extra 250 points. I unfortunately am going to have to enact the We Skill Now rule, though. And that rule states that if you're playing a game that's meant for entertainment, but you're kind of starting to feel like it's a chore, like you don't want to do it anymore. You gotta switch and do something else. I've been kind of sick of Winter Todd here. Even though the plan is to get like 50 mil or 100 mil or something, right now is not the time for me. I did just edit a video while playing Winter Todd and it, it was infuriating. I hated looking over and realizing that I had only fletched either zero, one, or two logs in the whole time that I had looked away. Maybe I'm just bad and complaining about nothing, but I got so annoyed that I gotta leave this place and in today's update they made it so that you can't hoard points anymore so we've got an accurate reading on the high scores of who's where and I kind my rank kind of stayed the same so I'm really happy to see that I've got my own way of hoarding points now I'm gonna be just underneath 25 million fire making experience and no one's gonna know about it wait I'm putting this on YouTube uh, all right wait I shouldn't call that thing the we skill now rule from here on out it's called the we break now rule okay so I'm I'm following the we break now rule I'm I'm gonna show you guys uh, myself opening up the crates that I got just now while editing the video. Here we go, look at this. Okay, did we get anything good? We gotta use, oh, could have used this seed a little bit earlier when I had to skip that farming contract. Land of times, those are nice. Eh, just a little bit of money. Uh, wow, nothing, uh, nothing really cool, okay. Wait a minute, I found some more crates. 
Good, I finally got some more burnt pages. <laughs> I used up all my other ones going for Abyssal Demons. I don't know why. My stream convinced me to do it and I regret it. So I'm, I'm happy to see some new ones. I was looking at my smithing level and I was deciding, hey, you know what? That is the level that's making me look like a scrub right now. So we're gonna do a little bit of Lovakite mining. And I, I still haven't made a Shazen armor set in my life. So I guess we'll do that for the first time. See what level we get to. I've got a few bars saved up, but I'm going to take the opportunity right now to not just sit here and manually grind out Lovakite. The full story is my wife and I have been running Harry Potter movies for like the last week and it's been pretty fun, you know. I'm going to take the opportunity to spend a little bit of mindless time, probably on mobile, just clicking these red rocks while we get through Harry Potter uh Five. We're on the fifth movie. <laughs> I've never seen them before, but I read the books. I was kind of hesitant to watch the movies, but it's been fine. It's been okay. All it takes is having a good date. So I'm guessing I'll see you guys later and hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of Lovakite. Hello again! Just got done with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. A fine, fine flick. Okay, so I was mining Lovakite the entire movie. So let's see how many I got. I think that I had about 150 or so in the bank, but I did didn't actually look at uh, how many I mined during the entire thing. So came back upstairs to the computer. So we're going to click the rock here, see how long it takes. And it's going to tell us, oh, that's actually higher than I thought. We have 639 Lovakite in the bank. We're doing good. Now look at what we're going to do next. As an abyssal accumulator, I have the absolute privilege of using superheat item on all of these just bank standing wherever I want. Oh, that's really cool. I like it a lot, but I feel like I can make it even easier. Uh, if I like filter some spells out and like reposition this fire spell, let me try it. Okay, so I managed to put it here on the right side. So now I will only have to move my mouse once. If there's a more intelligent way to do this, you can let me know. Just doing it this way is pretty all right. So the thing that's like especially cool with this is Lovakite has this weird quirk where you are required to use the Lovacane furnace uh, smelter or whatever that's right here in the center of, of town and it's really far away from a bank. Well, I guess the Blast Mine Bank is the closest one. So it's not terrible, it's not awful, but you know what? It's no Mount Carl, okay? Like, that's a really good furnace. So instead of having to walk all the way back and forth here, I get to just superheat all of these things, and I'm so excited about it. The only bad thing about this process is gathering the Lovakite. So I guess I'll see you back when I'm done with all these. Oh, this is fun. I don't know what smithing level I'm going to end up with because every single one of these is granting me 200 smithing experience. I want to end up with at least level 63 smithing before I use any of these bars because as I understand it right now, I get more experience as I go up in tiers. And the first tier is at level 53, the next one's at 63, and they just keep going up every 10 levels. So I've got a few other bars in the bank already like these mithril bars that I could use and these steel bars to totally get to level 63 before I even use any of these. So I totally forgot about this. You're able to use superheat item on something that's not eligible to be superheated. You can do an animation anywhere without without it costing runes or anything. You can just you do this animation wherever you want and it won't consume anything, not the runes or the item. I feel like people should like take more advantage of this. Hey, we hit it uh, very, very comfortably. Look, I am level 63 smithing. So yeah, okay, it even gives me the message. Shazen supply plate bodies too. Good. We're all done. It didn't take that long. I'm looking at my total experience here, and I think I ended up getting about 450,000 experience during that. It, just like the magic experience kept on piling up. We're at 16 and a half million magic experience. We ended up with 64 smithing. Got four levels. Easy game. Look at how many bars we have. 650. I wonder how many we need for 99. Haven't looked at the math at all. Not even in the slightest. I told myself I was going to look up how to utilize these before I made them, but uh, now they're here and now we got to figure out how to use them. But first, I've got another thing to do. Check this out. Oh man, what is this place? This isn't Zaya. So I just got talking with an old friend of mine, like a super old friend, way back in the day 
we made <laughs> we made a couple of RSMVs together, and I've got a gift to give her. Oh, there she is. All right, check this out. Oh wait, I need to convert this to be make it tradable. How much is it? It's a uh, 500k. I just happen to have cash on me too. Okay, good. Um. I've literally never used, uh, never done this before. So, there we go. There it is. Okay. Okay, so I was talking to her, and then I found out she, that she was playing free-to-play. Just chopping use back here, trying to earn a bond. And I was like, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening right now. <laughs> I've literally not stepped foot in the main game since Twisted Leak started. But uh, I had to come do something special for an old, old friend. Here we go. We've we've set her free. It's time, it's time to train some member skills. Oh, I'm so excited for her. All right, let's find out. What do you think you'll do first? Oh, I'm interested. I feel like I would do thieving right away. It's probably somewhat overwhelming. I don't even know what you should do. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot to do. <laughs> so, okay, so we gave her a bond, and I think we're just gonna, like, check in with her, like, every once in a while, see how many levels she's gained during the Twisted League series. How's that sound? You guys might want to give her some advice, too. Like, I don't know what she should do. Probably train agility, actually. Actually, yeah, I think that she should train agility. Here's why. It's, like, one of those things where it's, like, you haven't played members in forever. You go over to the gnome agility course and it's like, oh, here we are in members again. We're clicking on things and gaining agility experience. And then agility just like helps all the time so that you're not just a stinky little free to play player just like walking everywhere. It's annoying. I'm looking at my main account here. I'm just like disgusted at the levels. I can't wait to come back to the main game and actually make this a, a respectable account. I'm gonna, I'm suggesting that she goes to Twisted League right now. What? I think that'll be interesting. Or is that just gonna like totally ruin her experience and she's gonna get experience so fast that it's gonna be hard to come back to the main game and play? Wait a minute, this is the moment. Today on uh, the Q&A, the Jagex Q&A, someone asked, do you think if someone started today, started Twisted League today, could they end up in the Dragon Cup? And they were like, uh, maybe. But you know what? I'm an expert guide, I'm a Dragon Cup player myself. We can make it happen. Let's make it happen with Louis 2002. That's not her birth date, by the way, I promise. Okay, so if you still don't know how to do this, all you gotta do is make some Lovakite bars, go over to this house, get some crates, and you can just use those as normal items in your bank, make the armor at an anvil, box them up, and then deliver them to the certain person that you're supposed to get them from. So they're in these drawers here. Look, a hundred noted supply crates. Can I get more? I can. Let's just get a whole bunch. Maybe we'll have to come back someday for those, but like this person is the tier three armorer. So if you're level 73 smithing, you're making tier three stuff, you gotta bring it to that person, this one's the tier two, so I'm gonna bring a few to, to him and see how much experience we get. I don't wanna go much over 73, so I don't end up wasting a whole bunch of experience, because I'm assuming the higher level one you make, obviously, the more experience. So I'm heading to the closest anvil to a bank in Zaya, and you're gonna have to tell me if I'm right or wrong here. I think that it's just the anvil in the castle here. It's a decent length away, There's, it's past a staircase, so there's the anvil right there, and you, and you gotta go up a couple floors to get to the bank. I've got a few different types of ores to use, but I know it takes 11 bars to make a full set of armor. So I'm going to be bringing 22 of these kinds of bars at a time, and I'm just going to fill the rest of my inventory with steel bars until I run out. I know I don't need to make steel arrows anymore because I've got access to broad arrows. That's going to be all my fletching experience. So I think I'm just going to turn these into knives because right now I'm sitting on some iron knives, which has some ac application at Hispori, and I guess I'll just make them steal, and maybe I'll find another use for them or something. But, oh no, you shouldn't have been standing there, man. I messed up my first inventory, so don't mind me here, but uh, I'm just checking in with Louie2002. I've got her uh, play in Twisted League, I guess, instead of training her main account, and <laughs> she chose Dark Altar. <laughs> uh oh, I only responded with a whoa, and <laughs> she's worried, did I make a mistake? Hey, I think so. It's not what I would have chosen. I mean, it's not what I chose, but it's it's all about having fun. It's 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 the one that you want to do. That's my philosophy on it now. You can't shame anyone for their relic. Everyone's just going to choose the one that will make them have the most fun. As I understand it right now, I need to turn in about 38 
armor sets of the tier 2 armor in order to get level 73 smithing. Let's hope I'm not overshooting it by a ton. Seems like we're not quite halfway to 73 smithing at this point, but I'm keeping you guys updated. Uh, today, we received two compliments in our private chat <laughs> from people uh, who are watching the videos. So thanks, guys. Thanks for reaching out. It's uh, it's a good feeling. Thank you. Ooh, he even says he's going to check out the Twitch stream, too. Ooh, he says he's going to come check out the stream. Speaking of Twitch, if everything goes according to plan, Land today. This video is premiering on YouTube and I'm ready to go on stream waiting for you guys to come join and hang out. I've got some plans to continue the Abyssal Whip grind so if you want to see me get the Abyssal Whip live on stream come on over to Twitch right now. Come come hang out. Oh boy Badu's telling me that he had to come say hi while I still have my private chat on. <laughs> He's predicting some wild success here on the We Skill Now YouTube channel. I can't really imagine it at this point. Oh no, no, misclick. But hey guys, that that applies to you too. You better you better leave comments on these YouTube videos while I still read them. Oh, no, I seriously do read them all like very excitedly, I promise you. <laughs> Please comment on this video. We're totally hitting 70% base stats tonight that's cool all right so with that i am not going to get the 38 cases that i originally said because i feel like i've been getting so much experience from just crafting the armor itself that i'm going to bring these 33 cases over and see how it goes i want to see the experience drop we'll bring an entire case of 28. It's not going to be the biggest experience drop in the world because I don't have the artisan relic and these are only tier two so it'll still be fun for me getting a bunch of experience in my lowest stat. Looking forward to seeing it. All right it's my understanding that I just click this button. Look 420 420 okay <laughs> 420,000 smithing experience. We ended up at level 72. Oh we got 90 mining. Okay well that's kind of fun. Two more levels to catch up to our year and one more after that is the year that I'm going to have over a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Hey, get on it, guys. Click the subscribe button. Help me out. Oh, and I have a decent ways to go still. Still 90k more experience. I guess I do have to make a few more sets. Okay, what am I, an idiot? I still have five to go in the bank here. But uh, five times 15 is 75. I need to make one more set, actually. So... We've got the math, we've got it figured out. And here we go, this is level 73 smithing. This is significant because it boosts our smithing experience rate. Yay, we've unlocked the next tier. Hey, we've passed 1 million experience too. Nice. <laughs> Here's our Louie 2002 update. She's just totally lost in Zaya. I don't think she's ever been here. She's like, I feel like a newborn baby. <laughs> I'm just watching a little bit of statistically challenged Twisted League series as I'm finishing up this smithing grind here. And I've got a question. Is it ever okay to refer to this item right here as a herb? All right, so I am about to get base 70 stats I have the Shazen 3 armor in the bank right now, so I'm perhaps not going to be doing this in the most satisfying way, but there is a potential joke. Okay, big alert, a YouTube potential joke coming up, and I don't want to mess it up by gaining too many levels. So let's see, I don't actually know how much experience I need for... Hey, okay, I think I... Yeah, I definitely have enough stuff to get to level... Uh, okay, I, I'm spoiling it. Just just give me a second here. Okay, it's it's getting a little late. I, uh, I miss hitting the start recording button. I was just staring off into space watching these emeralds get cut. But look, level 70 crafting, and that means base 70 stats. That's 100 points. Almost 11k. Will we get there tonight? I don't know of any easy points to get real quick. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Yo, I'm in 2019. You're so 2000 and late. Ugh. Oh, okay. Uh, there is 71 crafting, and we are now prepared. Okay, okay. Just, just stick with me for a second. Stick with me. We need 1,000 coins. We'll, uh, drop them on the ground right here. Move to this tile here. Look, it's 1K by 2020. <sighs> There it is, there it is. All right, let's see how much of an XP boost the tier three armor is. Deliver that. Okay, so there was way less tax in my inventory and that was still 414,000 experience. Looks like smithing's not gonna be that hard to train. Level 76 we've got right now. 
Um, oof, you know what? There is one more thing that I want to do before I retire for the evening. Here we are. I couldn't remember how much coal you needed to smelt an Addy bar, so I just assumed it was a really high number. There we go. That's a hard task. Good. Maybe we'll finish up the hard diary tomorrow on stream. All right, so I guess this is just kind of the spot where we do the outro. I don't anticipate it being a, a pattern or anything. It just happened two days in a row. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Here are the stats at the end of day 22. So excited to be seeing the channel grow so much. And you guys are reaching out to me and talking to me. You guys are joining the Discord. It's really fun. It's really fun. Thank you so much for the support and just the company throughout this experience. It's really fun. I'm still looking forward to getting that whip still don't have it uh literally yeah i actually killed zero abyssal demons today i'm saving the grind for stream tomorrow and uh, you know what i should probably just say it right now i need you to scroll down on this youtube video and check to see if the pinned comment says that i'm live on twitch if you find that comment Guess what? I am live on Twitch. I'm timing it out so that this video comes out at the same time as when I'm going live. So if you want to come over, say hi, you're definitely invited to do so. I've made a few bold predictions about some experience goals that I can get by the end of League, and I wrote them down somewhere. And it's not a complete list. I didn't spend very much time on it at all, but like I'm making some realizations that like, look, 100 mil magic experience might not actually be that bad at all. And then there's 100 mil fire making experience. We're almost at 25 mil. I might get that tonight while listening to a podcast and just playing on mobile. Don't know yet, but you're probably not gonna see that on video. I know you won't be too heartbroken about it. It's all, it's okay. 25 mil range experience to say the least would be pretty easy, probably 50 mil. And then I was thinking 25 mil and all the melee stats would be really easy too. This clip might haunt me in the future, but right now I don't know if I'll be able to max. When I was first starting out League, I thought that that was just a ridiculous thing and no one should really go for it. But I'm like looking around and I'm like, you know what? It seems okay. The only problem stats would be like Herblore, but I think you can grind that out in raids. Rare seems to be a problem, but then again, you can just kind of grind red dragons, and I think that that might be your max prayer experience rate. I haven't experimented with grinding out red dragons in order to train prayer, but I, I'm sure it's not terrible, right? Maybe the big one would be agility, just hopping on the winter Todd pillars all day to get to 99 agility. That would probably be the biggest grind. On my way to 100 mil fire making experience, I should be hopping around just so that it's a little bit more likely that I can actually get maxed. I don't really see any other skill being a really big problem. Maxing on Twisted League would be like pretty sick. I would love to see my stats all at 99. It's certainly not the case in the main game at all. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for the support. It's been so fun talking to everyone. I'm going to keep on needing your help if I'm going to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by 2020. I totally can't do it alone. Ways that you can help me would be watching my videos all the way through like you did this time because you're listening to the outro. Thank you so much. Hitting the like button, giving me a comment, clicking the subscribe button while you're on this YouTube video might push this video a little bit further. But you know what the best way to advertise my channel is? Look, I'll give you an example. Okay, we got we gotta find him. Pen. Penji. Oh, this man's busy. We can't keep up with him. He's he's got an endless he's got endless run endurance. I'm just a walker. Okay, but this is basically what you do. You just you just walk up to people and you say subscribe to We Skill Now. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. Please don't do that. Unless. Wow, I love this blue background. This is sick. Ooh, I'm like blending right in. Okay, this is where we're gonna do the outro. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me, guys. It's been wonderful interacting with everyone. Let's keep grinding, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs>